want to make a short video on how to test a relay with just a test light. So as we've seen before, got my test light granted here. I always like to check and make sure it's lighting up so we can hit the power side of this. So I'm going to pull it. This is the relay. I've already got it out. I pulled it out. It is a what we call a micro relay. And this is a five pin. I don't know how you can see that. But on the bottom there, we've got several pins. We've got a wiring diagram on the side. These are one through five on uh, the mini relays. If I can get this or not, probably not. On the mini relays, uh, they are 3087, 8586 is the, the coil wires where you test, you apply power to. 3087 is where it clicks and actually applies power to what, or current to whatever you're controlling with the relay. Now this is very similar, just about half the size, half an inch. So here's our control. So we have power and ground on right here that will make the relay click and apply power from this pin to this pin. So, a quick way to check this is I know I need to have power at one of these. I need to have power at one of these. If it's something that's power side, uh, positive side controlled. So, but there's always going to be power to one of these and generally one of these. So, a quick check what I like to do just to make things quicker. And you can look at a wiring diagram too, which is a good, always a good idea. But relays, standard relays, what these are called, are always operated the same way. So with the key on, I start checking my terminals. Well, I can see with my light like the way it is, but I've got power there. So I know I have power on this one. I have power on this one. So now I've got, I know both my fuses are good. I've just checked fuses real quickly, didn't I? So power there, power there. So that means if I got power here, it should apply power to this terminal right there. So if I jump that, this is the horn relay by the way, if I jump this to this, it should work. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna apply, take my jumper lead. Now you can use, I have my students make T-pins. They use T-pins to do this. This is a jumper lead set. And you can see that tells me right then and there, use a paper clip or T-pin, something that's not going to spread these out, something small. Um, these actually are the right terminals, that's why I use those, and you can make those too. Um, that tells me that the wiring and the horn's good. So now all I've got left is the, the relay and the horn switch. So the relay, we can test on a different video, but this all that's left now is a control. So I know I've got power, so I need to have control side to work for the relay to click over. So again, my power is on this, not on this side. So this is my ground leg. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna make this a powered test light. Actually, I'm gonna use one of my I don't want to jam it in there. Hopefully this will work. So I'm going to hit the horn button. And if the horn button, if that lights up, that means the ground side is working. Because the ground goes, for the relay goes to the horn switch. So I'm hitting the horn button right now. You guys can see it's actually honking or controlling it. So everything works the way it should. That kind of leaves your ground, your uh, relay. And I'm going to have a separate video I might post on this. I've already made it for the students. But if you go from here to here with a 9 volt battery, the relay will click, but then you've got to check continuity from here to here. 
to see if it's actually working or not because it could click and not actually work so keep in mind a relay can click but the contacts can be bad you have too much resistance that's what we check continuity there or you could do a voltage drop across that too to where you're applying voltage as you're applying the voltage here and we could take pins and, and do that I suppose right now um, another quick way to do this would be to take a known good relay this guy right here put that in there and just check to see if the horn honks and it does so that's typically what a technician will do as long as it's the same relay because a lot of these have a diode or resistor in line like this one does right here and that keeps the because anytime you release the ground on a coil like this like an injector or a relay a ignition coil operates this way it actually creates a voltage spike which gets induced into itself and uh, can actually get induced back up into the wire into the, whatever module controls this so it's best to make sure you've got the same exact relay to put in there before you do it so we are going to go over how to test relay real fast I've got another video that goes into this in depth but I just go over the I'm just going to go over the standard relays you see there's wiring diagram right here 85 and 86 is the coil side or what we call the control side 87 to 30 is the switch side, 87 to 30, 87 to 30, 87 to 30 if it's a four pin. So these switch between these. So right now it would have continuity between 87 and 30. So if I apply power to this, you see I've got my trusty nine volt. I should have this hooked up first. I don't know if you can hear that, but it clicks. That does not mean it's good. So I'm going to disconnect this. Get my meter out here. Hopefully you can see it. It's oil. So now if we look on the bottom of this, you can actually see 87, 87A is the middle, 30 is the bottom. I'm on 85 and 86. 87 to 30 should be OL right now. OL meaning no continuity between them. 87A to 30 does have continuity, just like the wiring diagram said. So when I apply power to my 85 and 86, it clicks. Continuity between 87 and 30. I do have but it's now OL between 87A and 30 which you would expect another way to test this would be apply power to 30 or it can be 87 either one so remember I've got power also applied to Eighty-five and eighty-six. I'm gonna put this to ground. I should have nine volts right there, pretty close, eight point three seven. So it gives you kind of a voltage drop kind of thing going on if you want to test it that way. So that's how you test a relay. This is a what we call a micro uh, mini relay. Micro is the smaller one like this. And it's one, two, three, four, five. This test is the same way. So that's the outer pin. You can hear the clicking. We test across these terminals, the three, four, and five, just like we do 87A, 87, and 30. So it's the same exact thing. It's just a smaller package, and they numbered them one through five, which actually makes more sense. But that's just the way this one's different. 
but both tested the same way. And one thing, if you can't remember, I mean, obviously you have the wiring diagram on the side most of the time, but this forms a cross. So the outside piece of the cross, that's where your control terminals are on these. And it's really the same thing here, too. These two here are your control. You hook your battery up to that and it makes it click. And then it's going to go, it's going to be continuity between these two right here. Well, hopefully that helps.